in the warm sunlit waters of the Indian and Pacific Oceans, amidst the kaleidoscope of life that thrives in shallow coral reefs, lives a small yet captivating marine species, the clownfish. Known scientifically as Amphiprioninae, these fish are a visual delight with their bright orange bodies, elegantly contrasted by white stripes outlined in black. Each of the roughly 30 known species of clownfish boasts its own unique pattern and coloration. A hallmark of the clownfish's existence is its symbiotic relationship with sea anemones. These vibrant fish establish their homes amidst the venomous tentacles of anemones, a place where most other fish would find peril. This unique partnership offers mutual benefits. The clownfish gain shelter and a safeguard against predators, while in return, they contribute to the well-being of their anemone hosts. They engage in cleaning the anemones, consuming dead tentacles and leftover food. Their constant movement promotes water circulation, essential for the anemone's health, and through their waste, clownfish provide vital nutrients. The immunity of clownfish to the stinging cells of anemones is a feat of biological adaptation. They are covered in a layer of mucus that protects them from the anemone's toxins. However, this immunity isn't innate. Clownfish develop it over time. Juvenile clownfish carefully and gradually acclimate themselves to their host anemones brushing against their tentacles until they are fully immune to the stings. Clownfish have a fascinating and complex social structure. Typically, a group is led by a breeding pair, with the dominant female being the largest fish in the group. Intriguingly, clownfish are sequential hermaphrodites, born male with the ability to change into females. This adaptation ensures the continuation of the breeding pair, as if the dominant female dies, the largest male transforms to take her place. Clownfish are attentive parents. They lay their eggs on flat surfaces near their anemone homes and exhibit diligent care in safeguarding and maintaining the eggs. The male typically takes the primary role in this, fanning and guarding the eggs to ensure their survival. This fanning, a gentle but persistent motion executed with his fins, serves a fundamental purpose it enhances water circulation around the eggs, ensuring they receive a steady supply of oxygen. Crucial for the developing embryos, much like air is to us, this dissolved gas is maintained by the male's continuous fanning. His efforts prevent the still water from becoming lifeless and suffocating the eggs. Clear. Delicate eggs allow a glimpse into the development process, leading up to the moment they release their tiny inhabitants into the water. After an incubation period of about six to 10 days, the eggs hatch. However, the journey for these tiny hatchlings is fraught with challenges. In the vast ocean, they face a world where survival is not guaranteed. 
While the attentive care of their parents provides them a fighting chance, the reality of nature's cycle comes into play. The initial days are critical, with only a small fraction of the hatchlings surviving to adulthood. Predators, environmental conditions, and competition for food significantly impact their survival rate. They primarily feed on an array of small invertebrates, which include copepods, isopods, and tiny crustaceans, vital for maintaining a balanced ecosystem. Their diet is supplemented with algae, contributing not only to their nutritional needs, but also to the health of the coral by keeping algae growth in check. Zooplankton, drifting in the ocean currents, also provide a crucial source of nourishment, especially significant for the sustenance of juvenile clownfish. The clownfish's life is governed by the rhythm of the reef, the rise and fall of tides, the shift of currents, and the movement of other reef inhabitants all play a role in the clownfish's daily existence. They are attuned to the subtle changes in their environment, responding with instinct honed over generations. As day fades into the tranquil hues of twilight over the coral reef, a subtle transformation occurs in the underwater world. The clownfish, vibrant and active during the sunlit hours, begin their retreat to the safety of their anemone sanctuaries. These anemones, with their gently swaying tentacles, act as vigilant guardians in the dimming light. In the stillness of the ocean's night, the anemones too undergo a change. Their tentacles, often retracted during the day, now extend fully. This is their time to feed, capturing the nocturnal plankton and small creatures that venture close. Benefiting from the cooler temperatures and the cover of darkness. Meanwhile, the clownfish, securely sheltered among the venomous tentacles, find rest. This period of rest is crucial for the clownfish, conserving their energy for the flurry of activity that the new day will bring. In this quiet hour, the bond between clownfish and anemone is subtly reaffirmed, a nightly dance of survival and dependence in the delicate balance of the reef ecosystem. As dawn breaks, Heralding a new day over the reef, we are reminded of our own role in this intricate web of life. The health and survival of clownfish and countless other marine species are inextricably linked to the well-being of coral reefs. These ecosystems face threats from climate change, pollution and human activities. By understanding and respecting the delicate balance of these underwater communities, we can take steps to protect and preserve them for future generations. The life cycle of the clownfish, set against the backdrop of the coral reef, serves as a compelling reminder of our role as guardians of the Earth's diverse and precious marine habitats. If you're enthralled by the wonders of wildlife and the natural world, don't forget to hit the like button to show your support. Subscribe to Earth's Living Odyssey for more breathtaking content, and click the bell icon to stay updated on our latest explorations.